my name is Steven Mayu, and you're watching thebestjs.com. In the last video, I showed you how to use getter methods, and uh, basically, they are methods in disguise. They are functions in disguise. Uh, they are truly functions, but whenever we use them uh, in our code, they look like just regular properties. So if I wanted to get the biography, the biographical sentence, I don't have to invoke it in the console. I can just call dot biography with no parentheses, and then this function will run. And that's pretty cool. Okay, now uh, I mentioned that uh, in the last video also that we can also have static uh, getter methods, and we just use them and combine them just like that. I forgot to mention that if you're going to use static get methods, well, well, down here below in this other static method, um, I have this dot species, but but now that it's a getter, uh, I don't need this parentheses anymore. Okay, so if you if you have the get method right here in the first static method species method of person. Just be sure to go to line seven in the species sentence and this pair of parentheses, we don't need it anymore. Just remove it because we are using the get keyword and we access it without the parentheses. So it's a function in disguise. It looks like a property because it doesn't have those parentheses. Look, no parentheses, but it is running or invoking a function. OK, so I just wanted to point that out. And in the last video, OK, uh, we're going to go over setter methods. So these are getters. They retrieve a value. And setters, well, you've guessed it, they reset a value. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to save this change. And I'm going to copy all of this and then come over here to the last file. OK, great. So we have everything that we've had before, OK, or static methods. OK, and uh, we changed this to a git and all of the stuff that we've been working with. All right. So uh, I'm looking at our code and um, I'm, I'm examining everything in the worker class. It looks good, but I, I noticed something kind of annoying in the uh, in the person class. You see, in the person class, I can set the first name and I can set the last name as well. But what if, what if I wanted to set them both at the same time? Well, the way that we have it now, I would have to call set first name and then call set last name. All right, so to demonstrate that, okay, we'll copy that. We'll just refresh this. Oops. Refresh this, put that in there. Okay, that looks good. And if I say const uh, person one, okay, there we go. So if I wanted to change Stephen Mayu to Steve Meyer, well, I would have to call both of those methods. So person one dot set first name, Steve, and then person one set last name, Meyer. Okay, and let's check that it works. Full name, Steve Meyer. Now, it works as expected, but that's a little bit of a, you know, kind of an annoyance to me that I have to call set first name and then set last name in order to reset the full name. Okay, I don't like doing that. So I think this is a good use case for a setter method. So enough talking. Let's go into our console and write a setter method. OK, so we have a setter method right here. Um, let's see, we have a couple of instance methods, but let's write a set method right below last name. So this will be set. OK, the set keyword here we use get. Right here will be set the full name. Okay. And it's going to take one argument, just the name. And we're going to take the name. The name is going to be um, a string, OK? And we're going to split it into an array. Name.split. And we're going to split on the space. 
Okay, and then we are going to call the first name and the last name method from up here. So this dot set first name that will be name. Oops, rename bracket zero. Remember, this is an array now. So we have two elements. The first element should be the first name. This dot set last name. Okay. Now let's take a look at that. We're going to copy this over, come to our terminal, paste it. OK, great. Now let's say const person one, new person. Awesome. So before, if I wanted to do the set first name, it was a function. So I had to do something like this. But we are using a setter method now. So watch this. Okay, We're going to call full name. We're going to say person1 set full name. Okay. Is, that the, is that what I called it? Oh, sorry. We just called it full name. My bad. And instead of invoking it, I'm just going to reassign it like it's a regular property. So Steve Meyer. OK, and look at that. So now if I call person one, first name, it's Steve. Person one, last name, Meyer. Person one, uh, full name. Oops. Ah. OK, so I kind of made a mistake right here. So if I said person one full name, that is coming back undefined. Ah, now this is a good learning, um, sort of a learning uh, situation for you right here. So full name, OK, we've got full name up here and then full name down here. So that's a naming collision and it's not recognizing it's not recognizing this. OK, it's telling us it's not a function. All right. So we should probably rename this so that we don't get that error. All right. Let's do that one more time. Set full name. Come back over here. Sometimes we make mistakes, but that's OK. That's how we learn. All right, so we're going to try this one more time. Const person one. OK, looking good. And so I'm going to say person one dot set full name. And that will be, we'll say, Billy Jackson, just this set it all up. And so now we'll say person one dot full name, Billy Jackson. OK, so my bad right there. I had a setter that was the same um, name as another instance method. So that is a no, no. Okie dokie. So there you have it. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can have a static set method if you want to belonging to a class instead of uh, this. Alrighty, so very nice job, everybody. Um, we're going to wrap up in the uh, final video, uh, but this is all that I wanted to show you about JavaScript classes. And the documentation that you find on the MDN website, well, it can be a little scary and intimidating. There's a lot of examples and kind of a, you know, uh, confusing jargon, but really it's not as bad as it seems. We use classes to create objects, and that's it. And the new ES6 classes, they have tons of features that were not available in the old function constructors. So if I had a choice between this and this, well, I would choose the classes. OK, Doki, let's stop right here, and uh, I'll say some final words in the next video. Bye-bye.